Hello friends, let us now learn some important points about the next important disease which is necrotizing enterocolitis. So what do you see in necrotizing enterocolitis? In necrotizing enterocolitis here there is acute intest you will see that there is an acute intestinal necrosis of unknown etiology there is no we don't know what the etiology is but there is intestinal necrosis acute intestinal necrosis so if you see the risk factors risk risk factors include number 1 there will be prematurity prematurity is actually the single greatest risk factor is prematurity then if you see in the prematurity the mean gestation age is 30 to 32 weeks and then if you see in 10 percent of cases occur in term neonates almost 10 percent of cases occur in term neonates the rest all mostly occurs in premature babies then the next important reason for necrotizing enterocolitis is due to the aggressive use of formula feed will result in this condition and if the babies are not given breastfeeding lack of breastfeed causes all the uh, nutrients which should be there all those are not there so that will also cause necrotizing enterocolitis then fetal hypoxia or maternal cocaine abuse will also result in necrotizing enterocolitis and absence or reversed end diastolic flow absent or reversed end diastolic flow in the umbilical artery on antenatal USG is also a risk factor of necrotizing enterocolitis now if you were asked what is the part of intestine involved which part of intestine is involved the part of intestine most commonly involved is mainly the terminal ileum or ascending colon is most commonly involved okay now we have a staging system which is called has modified Bell's staging system is available for necrotizing enterocolitis. So what do you see in this staging system? So first we have stage 1. In stage 1 you will see necrotizing enterocolitis suspect. So what are the general features which you see in stage 1? The general features in stage 1 include you will see presence of temperature disturbances will be seen then you will see presence of apnea then lethargy are seen temperature disturbances apnea lethargy are the general features then in the abdomen in the abdomen you will see that the baby has feed intolerance then if you do an investigation first investigation you can do abdominal x-ray and in the abdominal x-ray you will see normal or you will see mild distension of the abdomen is seen okay then if you do the stool examination stool exa based on the stool examination you can again divide it into 1a and 1b in 1a you will see presence of occult blood is seen in the stool in 1a in 1b you will see presence of fresh blood is seen in the stools okay then how are you going to treat this patient treatment is you give nilfer oral iv fluids are given and you can also give iv antibiotics are given these are given for 48 to 72 hours and then you will reassess the baby so this is about the first stage that is stage 1 which is called as necrotizing enterocolitis suspect right now if you see the second stage in the stage 2 this stage 2 is also called as definitive necrotizing enterocolitis 
here you will see that in the abdomen on on examination you will see that there will be absent bowel sounds are seen and you will also see mild abdominal distension is seen there is absent bowel sounds and you will see mild abdominal distension is seen now if you see investigations and if you do an abdominal x-ray based on the abdominal x-ray you can divide it into two types we have 2a and 2b in 2a you will see presence of nematosis intestinalis you will see presence of nematosis intestinalis that is you will see air in the wall of intestine is seen then in 2b you have portal vein gas is seen in 2b you will see presence of portal vein gas now how are you going to treat, treat it treatment is nil per oral iv fluids are given along with total parenteral nutrition and you can also give iv antibiotics in the baby so all these are given for 7 to 10 days and you will have to reassess okay next next after this this is stage 2 after stage 2 the next stage is stage 3 which is also called has advanced stage 3 or advanced necrotizing enterocolitis here first you will see the features the clinical features include you will see presence of shock you will see there will be shock bleeding recurrent and you will see presence of recurrent life threatening apnea is seen and on examination you will see that the abdomen which is present it is hugely distended the abdomen is hugely distended and the abdomen will be tender also the abdomen is hugely distended and tender that is painful painful to touch and you will also see there will be abdominal wall cellulitis is also seen so if you see the investigations first if you do an abdominal x-ray on abdominal x-ray you see three feature two features and based on that we can divide into 3a and 3b staging in 3a you will see presence of peritonitis in 3b you will see presence of nemoperitoneum nemoperitoneum is presence of gas under the diaphragm you will see presence of gas under the diaphragm then so 3a is peritonitis 3b is nemoperitoneum now if you do you can do a blood examination also that is complete blood picture i mean blood examination in this you will see presence of if you do a um, abg you will see presence of severe acidosis in the electrolytes you will see there will be hyponatremia that is decreased sodium and you will also see that on CBC you will see that there will be refractory thrombocytopenia is seen. Now how are you going to treat this case? Treatment is you will give first you should put the patient nil per oral you should give IV antibiotics should be given to the patient you should give IV fluid boluses should be given see here the patient is in shock so you should give IV fluid boluses you should keep give the patient inotropes you should also give the patient blood products and you should also give the patient mechanical ventilation should be given along with surgery should be give, done in uh, 3b that is if there is nemoperitoneum obviously you should uh, repair the defect nemoperitoneum occurs due to the bowel wall um, injury the bowel wall has been split so you will have to do laparotomy and repair the defect okay now what about the prognosis of the of this necrotizing enterocolitis prognosis is 10 to 30 percent of risk of mortality is present in these patients so this is about necrotizing enterocolitis. Thank you for watching.